All right, we are here in Washkish, Minnesota on Upper Red Lake, going ice fishing for the first time this season. Just a couple days ago, there was a crack that formed outside of some of the resorts here. So I am actually going on one of the only open resorts on the lake. The news said something like 100 people were stranded. From what I heard from buddies, it was a 10 foot crack. So I don't really know who to believe at this point, but we're gonna go out today and cross our fingers. We have a, uh, a safe trip. The one thing about ice camping is there's always a lot of gear. First, I gotta get myself all set up. Oh, tailgate's locked. First, I have to get everything packed into the sled. Get ready to tow it out. Hello. Well, starting off strong. I already realized I forgot gloves. But at least I remembered slippers. The one thing when you're packing for ice camping is you gotta be kind of strategic with how you put stuff away. <sighs> it's a lot of work that goes into this. I feel a little funny <laughs> bringing a giant sled out, but I am staying at night, so. Oh, this rope's stretchy. Nice to meet you. You guys have any luck today? Yeah, today was better than we were out here for three days. Today was better. The best one? Yeah. Hey, take it, take it easy. Safe travels. I got ice cleats so I can get traction. Slick ice early season. Put these on. Just go over your boot like so. You get any fish? Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I had to go out the lake though. You need my help anymore? No, nope, I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, man. I've I've had people help me before, so pay it forward. Have a good one. You guys going out for the day? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I don't have much on me to give away, but I think I do got something for you, Henry. Here. Thank you. It's not much, but yeah. Yeah, good luck today, guys. Thank you. I got a house on my back. How's it going? Good. Maverick. Joe. Nice to meet you. Job. Good luck today. Thank you. Nice yeah. nice little setup in your truck there. Like that? Yeah. I built that one day. Looks good. <laughs> good luck, guys. All right. First couple steps on the ice for the 2023 season. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Oh wow, did I miss ice fishing. That's quite a bit of ice. So this is what I'm using for bait. A little spoon with a minnow head. Using a Mav snare. Basically what my plan is right now is I'm just gonna sit in the shallower water, see if I can at least mark some fish. And if I'm marking fish, I'll just set up right here. If I'm not, I'll move. That way I'm not having to tear down the whole house. So I'm gonna give it like 15 minutes here. If I don't mark anything, we're gonna move on. Not looking good. All right. Well, nothing here. I'll move on. Lots of fish activity. 
Ta da! So my foam insulation pieces. Just keep my feet warm. We're sitting on the ice. All right. We got our tip up set up. The flag will pop up when a fish bites it. One of the main reasons I wanted to set up over here was because the pressure ridge, which just means that there's two sheets of ice that's meeting together and it's causing it to poke up like that. For whatever reason, fish in this lake sometimes prefer that, so. <laughs> Weather-wise, it's actually pretty nice out today. So I'm not like itching to get that heater going. We got like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We are set up in nine feet of water. Today we're targeting walleye. I'm hoping to catch a couple to make uh, a catch and cook out here on the ice. I did bring an MRE just in case I don't get one for some reason, but fresh fish sounds a lot better than a uh, pre-made camping meal, so. The limit is three fish. You can keep one over 17 inches, but you can also keep three that are under, but only one can be over. So if you got three, that'd be a big meal for me. Like any trustworthy fisherman, I brought my own tape measure. So we're gonna go ahead and measure the ice just to see, cause I'm curious. All right, I'm at the edge. Holy cow. Do we really have that much? There, it's touching the edge. Nine and a half inches of ice. You can technically walk out on three if you're just going by foot. Um, it is recommended by the DNR that you wait until four inches to go out on foot. At about six inches, you can start taking out four wheelers and snowmobiles. And then on 12 inches to 16 inches, you can start taking out smaller vehicles like half ton trucks and SUVs and whatnot. Oh, here comes a fish. And he's gone. What the heck? Early ice trips, it's always recommended to go with a friend or at least let people know where you're going. Um, I have multiple friends in my location. They know where I'm gonna be at. And I've been here a handful of times before, good 30, 40 times, and I felt comfortable enough going out, but still means you need to take precautions. All I'm saying is if you're gonna go alone, make sure people know and still make sure you're being safe. Hopefully it's still on there. There we go. First fish of the trip. Feels pretty good. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh geez, he choked it. Bring him in. Am I over? Let's go. Look at that. Why? Thanks for the hook back. He is probably 19 inches, I'm guessing. Wow. Yep, 19 and a half. All right. Sweet. Caught that one on this little chartreuse hook, and all I did was I put two minnows on it. Phone's dying, gotta plug her into the old Jackery. If you haven't heard of Jackery, they're the sponsor of today's video. So the power source for this trip is this big guy, the Jackery 1500. This thing, for its size and how lightweight it is, packs a punch. On the front here, you can see it has three AC ports that can handle up to 1800 watts. It has one USB-C and two regular USB with one 3.0 quick charge USB. It has two inputs, which you can plug into the wall and charge it up within about four hours from zero to 100. Or you can connect these two dongles and have up to four ports, which you can connect four solar panels to have up to 800 watts of solar energy 
charging this battery. They also give you a DC port to be able to plug it into your car while you're driving. My favorite thing about Jackery's generators is that they're clean and efficient. It's also a lot more lightweight than traditional generators and you can have power wherever you're at in the world. The solar panels are also really nice. They feature magnetic clasps that can quickly open. Velcro straps on the bottom that flip out your feet and give you the right angle for charging in the sun. These are the Solar Saga 100s. They also are available in 200 watt panels so you can connect up to 800 watts to your Jackery generator. Jackery has been my source of power for as long as I can remember for ice trips. If you guys want to check these out and have some safe, efficient power while you're out on the ice or on any camping trip, check out the link in my description. And uh, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. All right. A little more thought out. Wow, well, that pipe got me. Kind of stings. They're pretty deep. Hurts. The snacks were great, but they're not cutting it. So we gotta start cutting some fish. There's my backup plan. Still might eat it just because all I had have is fried fish, but we'll see. Ta-da! There you go. So I got some Cajun batter here. Just gonna throw it in. Whip my fish. All right, now we just need to wait for the oil to get hot and then we're gonna have some fried fish. This makes all of the hard work worth it. I'm gonna open the door just so fresh air is getting in here while I'm cooking. Just a little one. I don't think it's hot enough yet. I don't really have a plate, to be honest. Just kidding, yeah, I brought a plate. Fresh walleye. Mm. Doesn't get any better than that. Mm. What am I doing? I got tartar sauce. fire it tastes so good if you guys have been curious as to who makes these pants the mav brand does we're working on these pants these are the first prototypes and these are going to be hopefully available in the springtime for uh for order but pretty excited about these we're actually we're actually getting somewhere on turning this thing into an outdoors brand it's got reinforced knees so you can kneel down and work in them it's got a reinforced booty and they're cozy. Really nice driving pants. Uh, I usually bring a milk crate to set that heater on, but I forgot it and you can see that it's already melting the ice a little bit. It's never gonna melt the ice enough for me to fall through, at least in this spot. I don't want to wake up to a lake down there in the morning. Well, I mean, like a figurative lake. Obviously, we're on a lake. I don't want to wake up with a puddle. All right. Pretty successful day of fishing. Ugh, in the morning. It's an old wives' tale that uh, you don't catch fish if you have bananas on your boat or with you. Caught fish just fine yesterday. Also had a banana for breakfast yesterday, so. It's about 6 a.m. Sun should start coming up in a short half hour.
Oh my gosh, that's the smallest wall I've ever seen that. Well, it's starting to look like breakfast. Mm, I got a flag. Oh. Oh. Dang it. That's a big fish. Okay, try again. Applesauce and a protein shake. That sounds good. I was just thinking to myself, I wish I would have brought a protein shake. So it's kind of a nice surprise. These are full of surprises. Kind of hard to mix a protein shake. This just tastes like brownie batter. It's a cake batter. Too bad they didn't put a blender bottle in there. No. Oh, he got away. Dang it. I'm over three this morning. I would have my limit by now. Yes, sir. All right, all packed up. I just gotta hunt it back for the truck. It's kind of crazy. Right? The ice melted all around my floor. You can see just how well that insulates. Thank you very much. Thank you both so much. I appreciate that. All right, see, always pay it forward. And when you're in need, people can help you. Successful first time ice fishing this year. Lots more winter camping to come this season. It's fun to kick it off on a strong foot. Four walleyes and a mic, and I'm heading home. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. As always, until next time, you know the drill. Just keep on trucking.